starting this video, I need to tell you some important things. First, the robotic parts that are used in this project are available in description box. Second, the programming code and the two libraries linked are also available in description box. So let's start. First, we need to take a breadboard, node MCU, ESP8266, which is also known as Wi-Fi module. The manual switches to control the appliance manually also. In this switches, I done the ground common and the positive terminals goes out. Then we need a relay module, 4 channel relay module to control the appliances easily. Some jumper wires, male to male and male to female. And the 10k resistance for the manual switches. So let's start our project. First we need to take the 10k resistance and attach it in a breadboard with a positive supply of breadboard. Then we need to attach the positive off switches below the resistance and the ground off switch to the ground off breadboard. Friends, for giving the power supply to the breadboard, I take the two jumper wires from the node MCU. There is written in node MCU V in means the positive in. So I give it to the power supply of breadboard and second pin of GND I give to the negative of breadboard. Now our main part is completed and hence done the wirings of digital pins of node MCU to the relays and switches. Friends, I need to tell you that this is a practical and if you not understand this digital pins funda, then you see my animation video that I also describe on this YouTube screen. So you can see there. Our wiring part is completely done. Let's go to the software part. The software is Blink software. For controlling the home automation device by using ESP8266, first we need to download the Blink software from Google Play Store. This Blink software link I given in my description box so you can download it from that link also. After downloading the app, open it and now you need to make an account on this software. Here you need to write your email address and then password. Now 
our account is successfully logged in and hit new project because we need to make a new project write the project name here i write home automation you can write any name as we use esp8266 so select esp8266 here connection type wifi okay create now we need to make a buttons four buttons because we use the four relays for operating the home appliance so we need to make the buttons here first button second button third button only touch it four button so i make the four button here now we need to give the name to these buttons click these buttons one by one and see on my screen that what i am doing for name i give the name the button uh, relay one select pin here virtual and v1 according to my code i select the virtual pin v1 you can also use another pins by your code here switch and then okay save now you do the same for another buttons also now our buttons are created successfully so our software part is completed now friends this is a programming code for the best controlling of node mcu esp8266 for this code you need to download the two libraries by which it can compile easily the two libraries are first is esp8266 library and second is blick library friends for downloading it i give the download link in my videos description box so you can download these two libraries from that link after it if you use your own pcb then you need to change the pin numbers here s1 s2 s3 and s4 are for the switches and r1 r2 r3 r4 are for the relays you can change pin numbers here easily according to your pcb and if you buy my pcb then you do not need any change here after the downloading libraries and changing pin numbers now the important changes will come in this code at the middle there is written that car ssid and car pass here you need to write your wifi name and here you need to write your wifi password now lastly you need to write here the odd token a u t h t o k e n odd token this odd token is coming on your email id when you create the buttons on the blink software finally the code changing part is done friends for giving the power supply to the node mcu i use the 5 volt power bank you can also use the 5 volt mobile charger now see that how this works as you can see on the relay module that the four led off and and the mobile also indicate the off indication but when i on the switch the app will also indicate and the led is also on which means this works perfectly you can see that the app will also give the feedback of the relays and we control our home appliances both by the app and the manual switches in next clip i can show you the full setup of this device on my home
to buy this PCB, then you can contact on my number. My number is given in description box. And if you want to take this whole, this whole project, then also you can contact on my number. So, thanks for watching my video. Like, share and subscribe my channel also.